Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is going to be how to clean your PS3, or as many of you like to call it, your PlayStation 3. This is the 40 gigabyte model, and I will actually be opening this up, totally taking it down, tearing it down, and showing you guys how to open it and how to clean the inside. So the tools you're going to need to open up your PlayStation 3 is going to be a regular size Phillips head screwdriver, which is, that's what that looks like right there. Just a regular size. This is actually a smaller size, which I think the smaller the better, to be honest. But this is just pretty much a regular size. Uh, any size regular screwdriver you want, so the flathead. Also, needle nose pliers, which do come in handy. You don't technically need these, but I like to use them. And you also need the Torx 10 screwdriver safety bit thingamajiggy. This is actually isn't the Torx 10. This is smaller than it should be, but this will work fine. I use this for my Xbox 360 controllers to open those up. But I believe it's like a Torx 9, this one. You technically need a Torx 10 and the difference between them is just the size and whatnot. As you can see, it does have a little hole. It might be very, very hard to see that. There you go, you guys can actually kinda see that. That is the hole in the center of the Torx 10. Uh, it's very, very tiny, but that is why it's called a safety Torx, and it's for specialty electronics and stuff like that. So it's just got a little nipple on the screw itself, and this will have the female end that you put into it, and it works. So I really wanted to make this video outside, as many of you probably know, but if you're new to the channel and you're just watching this video, it's the first video you're watching of mine, I usually like to make these videos outside, cleaning consoles. I've made a video of cleaning Xbox 360, and that video I'll put in the link in the description down below. I like to do them outside because it's easier to see, it's sunny and stuff. I'm using lighting inside obviously. It's not as nice as seeing the sun on it and also there's going to be tons and tons of dust inside this console and I really want to clean it outside so I'm going to have to take every single piece, bring it outside, clean it, bring it back in because it's going to be so full of dust. But either way, let's get into this. The first thing you're actually going to need to take your PlayStation 3 apart is you're going to actually need to take it and go to the bottom of the console. And as you can see, there is a warranty sticker right here. This sticker will need to be taken off, which I've actually already taken it off, so this will be a little easier for me. But there's also a little rubber grommet right there. So basically, there is a rubber grommet right there. And it is kind of hard to see, but you have the void sticker right here. You take that off. Next, you're going to want to take this little rubber grommet. Think of a jiggy off, it pops right out, and this is going to be where your first screw is located down inside the console. So now that I have the screw out, which you can see, totally took a right out, this does work. So I'm really happy this actually works. I don't have to go and buy a separate screwdriver. This is where your hard drive is. And basically what I'm gonna use is a regular size screwdriver. Just go right in the side here, pop this cover right off. And see, you can even see there's dust inside of here already. See, there's little bits of dust. That blue screw, Right there, there's even an arrow that points to it. You take that screw right out. So once you take that screw out, there is a little lever right here. You pick it up like this, move it this way to your right, and pull out. Now, like I said, this is the 40 gigabyte console. So as you can see where my thumb is, it says 40 gigabytes. So that's a Seagate hard drive right there. This even has a little bit of dust on it here and there. So you'd want to clean this off. You want to have this nice and clean. So that is one thing you want, actually very, very clean. So now this part, you're going to need your Phillips head screwdriver. There are going to be seven screws, one there, there, one over here, which this screw, I believe, is going to be the smallest screw out of all of them, if I'm not mistaken, a screw as well as here, 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 and here. Also, another side note to be very, very careful of is that there are actually going to be two different size screws. I know a second ago I said they're all going to be the same size. I did forget this screw right here, it even has an S on it. As you can see, there actually is right where my finger is, there is an S indicating that the screw is going to be small. It's going to be a tiny, small screw. So you make sure that right in this hole right down here, you are going to be putting the small one. You can see a big, huge comparison. It's almost half the size. You are able to take this, since I have it the wrong way as of the moment, you can flip it this way, so there's going to be a little hole right here. You can stick your finger in there, press in, and you should be able to pull back. And that should go really, really smoothly, and this pulls right off. It's got a little clip right here, as you can kind of see. This clip right here, this is the clip backwards, and it will open it. As you can see, it is dusty inside, obviously. No matter what, your console is always going to get dusty. There's really no way around it, because your fans are going to suck in air, and it just creates a lot of dust inside, and it captures that dust. So 
as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's major dust right here, like insane amount of dust. This is usually where your dust will build up, right in this area, and also back where the fans are as well. But right here, just tons and tons of dust. So technically, it's up to you which one you want to take out first. I would prefer to take out the disc drive first, which is this side over here. Even this gets dusty. You can see if I go like this and you look at my finger, you can see there's dust on it as well as you see a streak of dust. So we're taking out the disc drive. Now, the disc drive is very, very dirty. Basically, what you're going to need to do is there's going to be a cable right here. You're going to pull out. It unplugs very simply. You lift like this. There's going to be a ribbon cable down below. I figured out the best way to show you guys how to actually take this off. So you can see right here, I kept the ribbon cable on the actual unit itself. This is the disk drive. This is the actual PS3 console. The ribbon cable will come out of this little black slot right here, as well as there will be a black slot right here as well. But when I mean black slot, it's a black little bar that you can lift up with your finger if you need to, which you will. You lift it up, it pops right up, and you take this and you pull it out. It's that simple. And even on the ribbon cable, when you put it back together, there is a black line so you know that you can't really mess it up. You put it to the black line and then you clip it down. Next, you're going to be taking this component off. You can either unplug this plug right here or you can unplug it from the actual unit itself. I'm going to unplug it from the unit. It just unplugs very simply. Uh, there's going to be screws all around this. As you can see, there's three right here. There's one, two, three. Not on this side. So on this side, there's only going to be two screws. There's going to be one over here, and there's going to be one under this white cable. This plug, you will actually need to undo. So basically, to undo this plug, you will have to slide it this way, and then you take the cables, you bring them over this little black thing that tries to hide the cables out of the way. You press down on the little clip and it pulls right out. This side of the console, there's going to be a white piece of tape and there's going to be this black cord that runs along this part of the unit. I'm actually going to take the piece of tape off with it. So now we're basically just taking the screwdriver, taking these screws out, and it's that simple. Now to take this console off, it will be a little difficult to lift up, but you can see it's pretty loose. It's going to lift up. There's going to be a clip right here. These little metal prongs. This thing goes over those metal prongs. So that's going to be the side you're going to want to lift up on because it will be a little difficult. You see these two little holes? It's basically what these metal prongs go into. So it makes a lot of sense. This thing it really isn't too dusty, to be honest. There's a little dust here and there, but it can be cleaned. It's nothing that's too ridiculous. Now that we're done with that, basically what we're going to need to do next to actually take apart the PS3 is we're going to have to take off all of these screws, which I've already taken off, but there's going to be a screw here, 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 one there. There's going to be tons of them, put it that way. It's going to be one in the corner over here. There's going to be one over here as well, one in this corner. What we're doing now is we're taking the internals of the console out of the plastic casing. That's the next step, with the step we're doing currently. And there's going to be a screw here as well. This screw is going to be a very, very long screw, and the normal screws that are going to be on the sides here are going to be a smaller screw. So there's going to be this big one and the regular size ones, as well as an even smaller screw that is going to be going right there. So this very tiny screw goes right here. The long screw goes in that corner. The rest of these regular ones that are all around it are going to be the medium sized screws. Now, since I have all the screws out, I believe I have all the screws out, we will take this and you can see all that dust. It's insanity. And we'll flip this over and it comes right off just like that. Look how dusty that is. Look at that, that is dusty. Now, since we have the back of it, this is going to be the fan, obviously. You can see it spins and whatnot, that's the fan. Next thing we wanna take off is the fan, and that is going to be the final thing I'm taking off. The only reason I'm taking the fan out is to see if all of these fins are dirt, uh, actually really dusty or not. I don't know the last time this console's been actually played. Also, I wanna see if in here is dusty or not. So we'll take this off. Pretty much what you need to do to take this off, there's gonna be a little plug right here. You unplug it super duper simple. Keep it attached right there because it doesn't matter. There's going to be a screw here, here, and here. You're going to undo those. You can just a little clip right here. You pretty much just take the fan, tilt it, and bring it up. Super simple. So, moment of truth. Let's take this fan out. As you can see, you lift it up, you bring it forward, and you pull it out. That simple. Let's look at the fan blades. They seem to be pretty clean, not too bad. It's actually really clean, probably the cleanest thing in the system so far. And we're gonna look inside of here through the angles of it and see what we can actually see, if it's majorly dusty or not. I'm not seeing a major amount of dust. It could be cleaned a little bit with maybe a rag or something, but like a microfiber cloth or like some paper towel, whatever you prefer. But uh, that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna take this off. I'm not gonna take anything else off. If you really wanted to, you could literally take this whole thing apart. But this is as far as I'm going to go. Uh, you can actually probably take off the back plate as well, which is just, you pop it right off, which is actually very, very 
very simple. I didn't think it was that simple to be honest. And you can look in here, you can clean out right here and whatnot, and it's not dusty at all. There may be some dust that builds up in these. Uh, it seems to be very, very clean. If you were gonna see a lot of dust, it would be here, and it would also be on top of the console where there was a lot of dust originally within the case. So I'm gonna go put this, clean it all up outside, and I'll put this bad boy back together. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys before I put the PS3 back together is the way I cleaned it was with the broom. I use the broom method. There's different ways you can clean consoles like this. I like to take the broom and just lightly go like this and just clean it off. But there are other ways. You can use a can of air, but also keep in mind, a can of air, you have to buy it so it costs money. Also broom, you most likely have a broom in your house. There's guaranteed you most likely have one. Also you can use a can of air, you can use a leaf blower, bring this thing in your backyard, use the leaf blower, get all the dust out of it. That's probably the best way because that's like a giant can of air. So, first thing we're putting back is this. This goes on just like that. Next thing we're putting on is the fan. All three screws are screwed back in. Put it in just like that. Now all the screws are in and here comes the fun part. We have this component to put back into the actual PS3. Make sure you're very careful with this. You don't want to break this because it is a little difficult to do at some points. Make sure this cable, by the way, before you even do this, make sure this cable is out of the way so you can actually put it in there. Give it a little push down if it feels like it's in there and it's in place. Once all those screws are actually put into place, you can put the plugs in now. There's going to be this plug on this side. And you're gonna to wanna to take these cables and hide them underneath another plug in the front here, this white one, right Right there. So with this part of the process, you want to, well this part of the PS3, you basically want to take your little ribbon cable, slide it in there, make sure the black slab is up, click it down. The easiest way I found to do this is literally take the disk drive, sit it over here in the corner and let it stand up and put it in there. It's okay if it bends a little bit. It's called a ribbon cable for a reason. It can bend. So that's why just don't bend it in insane amount. But either way, that should be pretty good. Make sure all the cables are out of the way. So I plugged it back into place. There is going to be the plug right here that goes back into it as well. So make sure you just plug that back in. Remember that little clip that was up here that we pressed down? Basically what you're going to want to do is put the front of the console down first. Make sure that clips into place. It feels like it's actually in place pretty good. It should in reality go down very smoothly it should click over here now you don't want to forget to put this screw back in by the way screw that holds this front panel on so you don't want to actually forget about that now that that's in you can actually take your little rubber grommet if you didn't lose it by now because I know it is a very tiny rubber grommet next we're gonna take the hard drive and put the hard drive back in the 40 gigabyte it goes in just as it came out so you drop it in just like so and you pick up this little tab and you slot it to the left. Clicks right on in. Take your little blue headed screw, put your screwdriver on it, and pretty much put it in the hole and tighten it down. Take your cover, which I cleaned off the best I could, and pretty much put it in the way you took it out. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. Also, you can watch the last video over there, the most recommended video over there. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer, subscribe to the Speedy Diver. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like I said in the beginning of the video, I will leave a link in the description down below for when I actually cleaned out my Xbox 360, which is the total opposite of the PS3. So thank you all for watching again. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you really, really did enjoy, and I will definitely be catching you guys on the flip side.